Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well today. Today I want to film a eyeshadow look with a new palette that I got. It's one from Beauty Bay. It's the 42 colour palette in neutral. I've used Beauty Bay eyeshadows on my channel before. They're one of my favourite eyeshadows that I've tried. I think for the price point, they're just like unreal. I've got the 42 palette and it's really neutral some of these shimmers are a bit like crazy i don't know if i'd use this blue one or this pink one but everything else is a color tone that i would use so yeah i just thought i would have a little play i would love it if you can like and subscribe it would mean an awful lot to me and yeah let's get into it um, I used the, this is the other one from Beauty Bay, the nude, the plain nude one, which is obviously quite warm when you oh, hold them side by side, if I can do this without getting eyeshadow everywhere. <laughs> so this one is the, like, more warmer, kind of, like, basic neutral one, and then this is kind of, like, the cool tone, yeah, cool tone one. So, yeah. I love these palettes, I think for the price they're amazing. Um, I love the shadows, I literally have no problems with them like ever. Um, obviously it's a bit bigger, I wouldn't necessarily take this like away with me but that's why I have the smaller palettes because I find them so good. And um, so what I think I'm going to do today is I'm going to go away and do my base. Eyeshadow is something that I normally do last or one of the last stages anyway so I'm going to go away and do my face. And then, what I think I'm going to do, is I think I'm going to do two different looks. I think I want to do kind of very cool tone, metallic, with all the kind of like nudes. And then on this eye, I think I want to do something a bit with like the berry tones. I do know they just have bought out like a new, newer version of this, which is like really like rosy. Um, for me, this is like, rosy enough. Like, it has so many pinky tones for me that I wouldn't necessarily get that other one. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I think we're going to do one matte look, one shimmery look. Don't know if they're going to match, but we can just look at them like... So yeah, it's kind of going to be a two look, one palette vibe. But yeah, let me go away. Let me go and do all of my base. And yeah, and then we can get into the eyeshadows. Okay, I am back and I've just done quite like a simple base. Nothing crazy. Um, if any of you are wondering what I've used, just leave a comment down below because I won't link like all my base. I'll just be linking like the eye stuff that I use. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Vive Eye Wand. And this gives me like the perfect base. I'm just going to buff this in with my finger. Okay, I'm going to zoom you in so we are very close and personal. I feel like I look very close to you guys. Okay, so for starters, I think I'm going to go in and one thing that's great about these palettes is they have like the biggest mirror. Um, super handy. And I think what I'm going to do is, is on this eye, I think we're going to go in and I'm just going to kind of buff a, like a nude shade all over. Kind of like a greyish shade. If you have this palette, I'm using Shell and Suede to create kind of like a grey undertone, but like all over. Yeah, this colour story really excites me. I love cool tones and I've really wanted it for a while. And it's not expensive, it's definitely something I could have purchased, but it was just something that I did kind of just keep going. I'll get it next payday, I'll get it next payday, and then it was months. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this kind of taupey grey shade, which is called Slip. And I'm going to just buff this on the outside. I'm actually going to take a smaller buffing brush just to really blend that out. Yeah, I want like a really cool tone kind of 
ombre eye and eyeshadow i've said this before um but eyeshadow isn't my like best makeup skill i um i kind of do my best <laughs> i wouldn't say i'm bad at it but i wouldn't say it's yeah my most skilled and if you are new here i am not like any kind of makeup artist i just like love makeup i've learned all my makeup skills from youtube basically okay i want to deepen this up so i'm gonna go in with this shade here called heather i'm taking kind of this same little brush and again just going to intensify the outside area and just keep blending that's one trick that i feel like does really work it's just blend 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 because even if you put things in the wrong place or you've gone too heavy if you blend it out it works i'm not going to go in with a little bit of a warmer shade but it's still not really warm this kind of dark brown just in with that gray I'm being quite light with what I pick up so I've got almost like a grey it's almost like a pewtery gunmetal kind of ombre I'm just kind of going in and just really deepening up sometimes if you feel like you need a bit more take a clean brush like if you feel like your blending is like not going as further like blended as you want you take a clean brush with no product on you just get that extra kind of oomph with the blending it's just easier to blend okay now i'm gonna go over with like a flatter brush with these two kind of like lighter tones and just re-intensify that inner section so that it's like light what's good about this is that i don't need to do both eyes at one time i can just do the one eye okay and now we are going to take this shimmer and i'm just gonna put it on that stunning that looks really pretty that shimmer is like it's warm it's got a warmth to it but it's definitely like silver which i think is nice next to like the gray okay now with those dark colors that we used before so we've got this color here and then the dark brown up here i'm gonna kind of start bringing it under i like quite a grungy eye i want to add some like depth under my eye like really darken it up this is my all-time favorite brush from the ariel it's the a7 and it's like a pointed detail brush and i just love it and so i'm taking some of that me metallic and just really running it like right under on my lash line just to add like a bit of glitz but I'm not bringing it I'm literally just running it along the lash line I'm going to add a bit of sparkle in the corner just to like brighten it up and then with a with a little angled brush I'm going to take those darker colours again and just add maybe I'm going to have to go in with this with the black this black here just a hint so I'm picking up those browns and the darker tones that I used before with a hint of black and I'm just adding some depth along the top not a wing but just some light depth in the in the line I do feel like this palette could have done with 
maybe a maybe one more darker grey. I feel like we could have swapped like one of these for like a darker grey. Because I feel like these, I feel like these two are very similar. And we could have gone for more of like a like a really dark grey. He's just adding that along the top but without not necessarily doing a wing I think just adds even like more depth. Okay. I'm going to just go in with my mascara and I'm going to go in with my Benefit They're Real. Some on my bottom too. I love this mascara, it's honestly really one of my favourites. Okay and here we have the first eye. I'll just cover this up because it looks a bit crazy but yeah as you can see just like a really neutral kind of gunmetal grey quite grungy but yeah really happy with that it's got that hint of glitter but really I really love those grey tones um I know that this kind of cool toneness isn't for everyone but yeah, I just think, it looks so funny without anything on that eye. I just think that, yeah, for me it's really pretty. And if you do have blue eyes, don't be scared of grey tones. I know it's not necessarily, necessarily, it won't bring them out. It doesn't make them pop, but it's very complimentary. So yeah. Okay, and now let's move on to this eye okay and this one is all primed and I think I want to go for quite a matte look for this one clean off some of my brushes so I just take some micellar water on a cotton pad and I just kind of clean off I tried that ISO clean once but it just made my um made my brushes really oily I don't know if I used it wrong or used too much so yeah, you know, I just like to do this. If I'm obviously properly cleaning them, um, I don't do it this way, but so just so like a clean in between, it is good because it dries quite quick too. Okay, so for this eye, I think I want to go with like a matte, rosy halo eye. So I'm gonna go in for like an all over base and I'm gonna use this pinky tone here it's like a very light pink it's called petal and I'm just kind of running this all over the eye to give it a kind of lightish pinky hue now if you do have blue eyes pink is a really nice color to actually make your blue like stand out every time I wear pink eyeshadow and um, I get so many compliments from people about my eyes I'm okay and then next I think I'm gonna go in with this color here and it's called coffee flat brush and I am just building up color on the outside and I want it to be a little bit brighter so I'm gonna go in I think with these with these two colours here I'm going to kind of mix those in so mauve and iris I'm going to mix those in with that coffee just to add a bit of brightness I'm just kind of creating the shape that I like on the outside kind of like it's being a bit of like a V shape and then I'm going to use those same colours and kind of go on the inside like that. And then I'm leaving kind of the centre. I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and go in just with a light tone, maybe that petal colour. And I'm just going to start blending out the edges so everything's a little bit more seamless. I have been loving a halo eye recently. Don't know what it is, but it's just been like my kind of like glam go-to. 
keep going in and just building and blending. Yeah, like so. And in the middle, I think I'm going to take this kind of really neutral pink shade called Dusk and just kind of add that in the middle and kind of blend blend with those I want to keep this really matte okay now I'm going to go in underneath with all three of those dark colours I feel like I need to keep covering this eye Yeah, yeah, there's something about Halo Eye that is creme de la creme. So yeah, so before I was using this and these two, but now I'm going to go in with this wine, which is very like maroon compared to the others. And I'm just going to create like a little bit of, little bit of a liner with this. I think this is just gonna add, like I did with the black on this side, I feel like this is gonna add the depth on this eye. I said this travel wouldn't be that great for traveling because it's so big, but I do think it is gonna be something that I take with me because I feel like you can just create so many looks from. Yeah, and I think I would just take this like one palette on the waterline as well with this wine colour. Just smudge where my lash line is with this wine tone. And I haven't with any of these kind of like winged them out. If you're a wing girly, then go for it. Yeah, really happy with that. I might just go in a little bit more and just blend. this out ever so slightly so I'm going back in with that coffee colour and just really just working on that blend so then I'm gonna with this eye do my mascara if you did want to make this one shimmery obviously I went for a matte look but you could add shimmer in this like middle bit and it would look really pretty Here we have this eye. But I really think the halo eye looks really pretty. Obviously, I've kept it matte, and like the fact that I've like darkened up around the the eye, I think looks like intensifies it, but in like a soft way. So yeah, here are my two eye looks. This one, this cool tone, actually looks now it's next to the pink. You can see the warmth in the shimmer. Um, so it doesn't look super cool tone, but obviously it is literally greys. And then you've got this really like rosy pink, but like I'm scared of colour and I like would wear this one out because for me it's like borderline colour. Just going to apply a very simple lip. I think this palette is like so good. You could even go quite warm. So you've got the options for like a little bit of warmth. Um, if you you don't really want to go super super cool, you've obviously got these like brighter tones. Yeah, so I use kind of plums. I've used obviously all the cool tones. Some of these shimmers are just like so high shine. So yeah, super happy with how my makeup turned out. This eye, I think, is my favourite, just because I'm a cool tone gal. Um, this one is, but then I think, again, this is just so fun, and I really like that kind of purple liner kind of vibe at the waterline. But yeah, let me know which side is your favourite, if you like the plummy side or the really cool tone side. And yeah, I just think this palette is like 
10 out of 10. Like I literally, I'm so happy I got it. So excited about all the looks I'm gonna create. And yeah, if you have seen this palette and you've been like, I'm an R and about it, this video has kind of like helped you. Um, or if you're just kind of looking for some eyeshadow inspiration, I hope I've managed to fill that for you. Um, yeah, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll have the palette details all linked down below. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you again super soon.